Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC Drive Test, or should I say Dive Test, because today I'm at the uh, Farnborough Leisure Centre in uh, by the pool with Jeff of the Aldershot Dolphins Sub Aqua Club. And we've got the Flyfish V6 in the water with some of the guys from members of the club and uh, was capturing some action while, and Jeff has actually snatched the controls out by hand and is having a go himself. What do you think so far, Jeff? Well, it, I think it's really easy to control, provided you're gentle. It's really, it, it responds to control surprisingly stably, actually. I thought it would be much uh, less stable than that. Okay, so... Uh, oh, we walk around a lot more. Here's the view. So I think at the moment you're controlling in what they call attitude mode, Jeff, which limits the ability to roll. You can't roll, um, but you can do everything else. So you're using pitch there, but for beginners it just makes it easier if you can't do that. And now I've lost control, Dom. Yeah, you're, as you can see, <laughs> you've got down. the little icon you've got here. Yeah. You can tell what your attitude is, but so on this one you should be able to do that Where are we going? Are we so going? there's the surface above you now right, that's better. thank you so there you are so you, famous you see, last words not quite as easy <laughs> as that as I thought I've had a few goes but not many I've not used it too many times but um, I think I think this is a really exciting addition we normally dive uh, dive our uh, people dive in the pool with equipment dive in the sea with equipment so the idea of having one of these to go and have a first look at new dive sites and wreck sites for us before we get to the water would be great I think and you know, the fact it goes down to 30 metres, I think you 100 metres. 100 metres, sorry, Dom. 100 metres. We can only dive to 30 metres anyway, so a 100 metre cable would be great because we go down 30 metres then go around. So that's interesting. You, you're limited to 30 metres well, wide? Well, 50 metres from training and safety, but in normal practical terms, 30 to 35 metres in the UK, because beyond that it's just very cold and dark. And oh, I see. So how about um, the issue of... Um, the, the, everybody would be asking about the bends and stuff like that, decompression, the amount of time you can stay at any particular depth, the yes. limitations there as well? Yeah, you're absolutely right. The, 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 decom the decompression is basically the amount of gas you absorb into your body, right. which in turn, if you think about it, is a combination of depth and time. So the deeper you are, the higher the pressure. So the shorter the time you can stay and be able to return straight to the surface without doing organised stops, which we call decompression stops. Right. Okay. So what's he doing here, Jack? He's simulating, so now we have our diver simulating uh, being unconscious on the bottom. All right. Hopefully someone's going to come back and rescue him. Should we pan back a bit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So now what's he doing? See, well, the one in the red shirt is um, simulating being unconscious on the bottom and needing rescuing. And the other diver has come into shot and is uh, now has got hold of him, has gripping him securely and safely, and is huh. raising him slowly to the surface. Right. So under controlled speed. We call this controlled buoyant lift, so it's the first safe lift you can do. And there he is, back to the and surface. There he is, back on the surface. And he's alright. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. We got that. Yep. Yeah, really good. Thank you. It and what's, even, what's more surprising is we had Jeff controlling it and this is literally, you've been using it for five minutes and you captured that almost perfectly in first person view. On well, I wouldn't say perfectly, but well, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty it's good. Okay. Really good. So what are we going to see this time, Jeff? So one of the most advanced exercises as really for confidence building for an advanced diver is uh, Oliver here is going to go down to the bottom pool, take all his equipment off on the bottom, then come up to the surface, free, take a breath or two at the surface, then go back down and put his gear back on without surfacing while he's doing it. So these are known colloquially to us as ditch and retrieve, because you ditch your equipment and you retrieve it. And obviously it takes, uh, it's quite easy technically, but it takes guts to do it, I suppose I would say. So now he's on the surface. Pan round. Now he's going back down again. Brilliant. Now I guess one advantage of using this this five fish underwater drone is that you're seeing it in real time. Whereas if you were using a 
a, a GoPro or similar, you'd have to record it and then bring it to the surface, right? Uh, absolutely right. I think this has enormous potential for teaching, uh, for training our instructors actually, so that we can get our, as in this case, our divers demonstrate their drills underwater and a group of our training instructors could be gathered around on the surface in one go, watching what goes on and having a, a critique of it as they go before getting into the water and practicing it. Um, when we train divers, we normally try and use a ratio of one instructor to one diver, so one to one. Um, but this would be ideal for taking a group of uh, divers under training and showing them the exercise they're going to do, or alternatively a group of instructors under training, uh, and again showing them how the exercises are taught and so on. I think it's got a lot of potential. So now you can see he's put his equipment back on, he's given us an OK signal, which means he's fully OK and he's now able to swim off and continue his dive. Brilliant. This is something we'd never, never do in real life, we wouldn't expect to do, because for, for a start there's no reason to do it, but secondly, equipment doesn't actually fail and use modern equipment. And there he is. Perfect. So now I'm just panning around and there he is on the surface. Thank you, Ollie. Great demonstration. Thank you very much. And we captured that perfectly. Brilliant. Thanks very much. OK, so what we're trying now is the VR feature, the virtual reality feature of the Firefish V6, which um, means you can put the phone that was on the controller here inside the VR goggles frame. And we're sitting... Uh, <laughs> Rohit, is, <laughs> wow. Rohit is wearing the goggles and we've put it in combination mode. And that basically means that for uh, yaw and pitch, it is, tracking, it is tracking the movement of his head. So he doesn't have to make those movements on the sticks. You can control depth and side to side and forwards and backwards movement on the sticks. How do I go forward? So I, you, you, you do that with the, with the sticks. So I'll, oh, okay. I'll, I'll do that. Actually, I'm going to hand those, them over to you. So, just you got okay. you got two sticks. Okay. The Which one on what? the right is yeah. forwards and backwards, and side to side. Uh, don't touch. The, and the one on the left is so just little movements. Okay. How you doing? Yeah, good. Have you got anybody in view? behind me now okay. okay so you could do this to yeah row okay that's um your yeah okay got somebody removing his full suit all oh, right okay yeah but it's, it's, it's quite intu intuitive because you're using the, the VR feature, right? You're not having to Very use nice. the stick for that. Very nice. So how do I... And Rohit has not actually used it at all. He's just jumping straight into VR mode, which is for advanced users, but he's ignoring the, the <laughs> beginning, you know, starting with the beginner mode and just jumping straight in. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, pretty amazing. Okay, sorry. Tom, the, um, the two guys to the right are going to swim in with our club banner if you want to pick that up. And oh, push. fantastic, and then, uh, yeah. Well, that's a great one. <laughs> where are they? To the, to the right? To the right. Uh, to the right, coming on the shadows. Right. Oh, I see they them, them and got them. I'm in pursuit. Do I still need to keep recording this? If you don't mind. Yeah, yeah sure, no problem. Brilliant. Learn to scuba dive, older shot dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can communicate from the drone, from the uh, fly fish underwater, is just by flashing the light. <laughs> Brilliant. The VR stuff is amazing. It is, isn't it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Very immersive.
you actually don't feel the gaps you actually do feel you are there's not much there's no real latency is there no. between you moving your head no That'll make a good uh, a good picture. Yeah. So, recording this video, we'll call it a wrap there. But uh, thanks to All Shot Dolphins for inviting me along and. Uh, I think they've had fun playing with the Five Fish V6 today, wouldn't you say, Jeff? Been, uh, thank, well, been thank, interesting for you? Thank you, Dom, for coming along and letting us play with it. It's, it's been, been very pleasure. interesting. Yes, it's been good fun. It's a new dimension to explore in the underwater world for us. And um, it's the sort of thing that a club could go for, actually. I think it's beyond an individual, probably. But a club could buy one of these and it would... Uh, stop a lot of wasted dives looking for new sites when we're in the wrong place yeah. very interesting so thank you very much for coming You're along welcome. enjoyed it a lot it's been a lot of fun so we'll see you next time thanks thank you.